A Russian tank crew member has surrendered to the Ukrainian forces and handed over his fully operable tank after seeing in his phone a targeted text with the Ukrainian government's offer that guaranteed safety, a financial reward, as well as potential Ukrainian citizenship, once the war is over. The news was shared on Facebook by Viktor Andrusov, advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs. A few days ago I wrote of the news that finally exposes the splits in the Russian army. Now, I can elaborate. I wanted to show you the video, but our special services asked me not to. A Russian soldier handed us his tank for a reward, said the official. Over the past few weeks, the national police has identified the phone numbers used by Russian forces, and these were Ukrainian numbers. He clarified that messages are constantly sent to these numbers with instructions on how to surrender and hand over their armored equipment. Misha called us a few days ago. We passed information about him to the GUR military intelligence. A meeting point was designated. As he approached, a drone monitored the area to make sure this is not an ambush setup. After that, our spec ops forces detained him. It turned out that his tank crew mates had fled home, leaving him behind. He saw no point in continuing to fight, the advisor said. The Russian soldier said he could not return home as his commander threatened to shoot him and write him off as combat loss. Misha also told us that they were practically out of food stocks, while the management of their unit was chaotic and almost non-existent. Demoralization levels are enormous. As for Misha, he has received rather comfortable conditions. He will also receive $10,000 after the war ends, as well as the opportunity to apply for citizenship, said the minister's advisor. Andrusov noted that until the end of the war, this man will live in a comfortable location, provided with basic necessities, such as a television set, a phone, a kitchen, and a shower. So the Russians do surrender. Along with their equipment, Andrusov said.